a city populated with characters from sagas. The historic district of Hamelin is full of the heroes of fairy tales and legends. And plenty of rats, too. They recall the most famous character from a German saga, the Pied Piper. He is supposed to have lived more than 700 years ago, but even today, most people have heard of him. It's just a lovely story that's passed down from generation to generation. A jaunty cat with a feather, that's a Pied Piper for me, colorfully clothed like he sometimes walks around here in Hamelin. I know him from the fairy tale books my parents used to read to me. What made the Pied Piper famous was the collection of German sagas compiled by the brothers Jakob and Wilhelm Grimm. 200 years ago, they published a volume with many folk tales, like the one about the musician who freed Hamelin of rats. When the people of Hamelin refused to pay him, he lured away all the children with his music. The Grimms didn't invent the story, but they made the Pied Piper world famous. This legend has been translated into more than 30 languages. The Pied Piper story profited from the popularity of the Grimm brothers' other work. It's very popular all over the English-speaking world and Europe. Asia, too, has many fans of the Pied Piper and of legends and fairy tales in general. And Hamelin profits, too. Each year, some 3.8 million people visit the city to walk in the footsteps of the Pied Piper or to experience him live. For the past 22 years, Michael Boyer has been Hamelin's official Pied Piper. The U.S. citizen has known the story since childhood. I read about the Pied Piper when I was in third grade. I didn't believe the story with its Piper who could lead rats and children out of town with his magic and the mayor who refuses to pay him but can't do anything about it. A magical story with magical music. And then, when I learned that the city of Hamelin really exists, I thought, well, that's great. You learn something new every day. The Grimm brothers collected many of their fascinating stories in Kassel, where they lived for a long time. At the interactive museum Grimm Welt, visitors can encounter the best-known characters from the collection, the Frog Prince and Snow White's Seven Dwarves. But Jakob and Wilhelm Grimm were more than fairy tale collectors. They studied law, went into politics, and launched the first German dictionary. The Mammoth Project wasn't completed until after their deaths. They collected these old cultural artifacts, the fairy tales and sagas, and put them in a consistent form, thereby making these stories famous all over the world. Grimm's fairy tales have inspired many artists and have often been turned into films or cartoons. They appear in early silhouette animation and in cartoons like Puss in Boots. Hollywood still likes to adapt Grimm's fairy tales, as with its recent Oscar-nominated live-action retelling of Cinderella. The Pied Piper story has also been filmed many times. The Disney cartoon version from 1933 is well known. But what distinguishes a legend from a fairy tale? The sagas or legends always have at least a grain of historical truth. For example, the Pied Piper of Hamelin. Something like that really did happen here. The Pied Piper was here in the Bungalowsenstrasse, which means the drumless street. So the street without music. An inscribed beam on a building there tells the story of the Pied Piper. 20 meters of eyewitness accounts. What more could you want? Whether legend or fairy tale, the stories collected by the Brothers Grimm are still loved by children in particular, even after 200 years. I think the Brothers Grimm are still present everywhere in children's rooms. Everyone hears about the Brothers Grimm's fairy tales at some point. It's really a trademark. People know the Brothers Grimm. So the 200th anniversary of the Grimm's collections of legends is being enthusiastically celebrated in various cities all along Germany's fairy tale route. And we hope everyone lives happily ever after.